Stars from the world of comedy and TV have paid tribute to Tim Brooke Taylor, who's died after contracting coronavirus. He was 79. He was best known as one third of the goodies. He was also a panelist on Radio 4's I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue for over 40 years. Our media and arts correspondent David Silito takes a look back at his life. You need help in Tim Brooke Taylor, writer, comedian, goody. The posh, Union Jack waistcoated goody. Our period of comedy to start with was all anti-establishment. And so if you're going to do a show, you need somebody who is the establishment. And so I was the queen, the government, whatever it was. So I always had to represent that side. Are we going to stand by and watch England's green and pleasant land get faced? No! That character, which was the opposite of his own views, was just one of many he'd developed through the 60s. I'll tell you what, uh, what's good about it. Well, do you like it? Uh, well, I, I don't know whether I like it or not. Yes <laughs> or no? Yes, I do like it. He'd first met John Cleese when they shared digs at Cambridge University. Buxton-born Timothy Julian Brooke Taylor had been heading for a sensible career in the law. Excuse me, but uh, when to have eaten? No, that was my brother but found oh, making job. people laugh so was much more fun. We had it tough. I used to have to get out at a shoebox at midnight, lick road clean, <laughs> eat a couple of bits of coal gravel, work 23 hours a day at mill for a penny every four years, and when we, and when we got home, Dad used to slice us in half with a bread knife. Monty Python's famous Four Yorkshiremen sketch was actually written right. by Tim Brooke Taylor for the At Last, we the 1948 show. Morning. At half past ten at night, <laughs> half an hour, half an hour before we'd gone to bed. His career, president of the Cambridge Footlights, radio, 60s sketch comedies, suddenly Michael took off with a simple idea. Now, we are the goodies. Yes, yes we know no. that. And we are, are going to do good to people. Goodies, goodies, yum, yum, goodies. At its peak, 15 million would tune in. One viewer died laughing. His wife thanked them for making his end a happy one. It always rankled, though, that the BBC didn't repeat its mixture of slapstick satire and profound silliness more often. But something of its spirit did live on in radio. Girlfriend in the coma, I know I know that it's serious, so girlfriend in the coma, I know. For more than 40 years in, I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. Tim Brooke Taylor, a lifetime of making people laugh and here singing one song to the tune of another. Girlfriend in coma, I know, I know, yes, it's serious, my, 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 my baby, goodbye, and that's just...